Hello everyone and welcome to Spookier Celluloids Sovini. And you're probably thinking, Spooky, you look and sound like shit. Yeah, I've been sick all week and I'm still, still recovering. Uh, I'm feeling somewhat better. I am just going to go on a, in a hot shower and tonight I'm gonna have a poutine to, to make me feel better because I haven't really ate anything substantial this week. Uh, I've ate like one meal. Anyway, you guys don't care about my health. Because I clearly don't care about my health, so why should you? Uh, Jungle Trap. Uh, yeah, I've, I, I've watched this movie two days ago now. Hopefully I can re remember anything. I, I watched this while having a fever. Which was appropriate, because this film feels like it was written during a fever dream. So it's 2016, you're probably got like, God damn, Spooky, isn't that a bit a bit recent for SOV? Well, the thing about this film, just like um, our Grindhouse uh, video, uh, not Grindhouse video, Grindhouse releasing did with uh, Duke Mitchell's project, kind of what Vinegar Syndrome did with New York Ninja, uh, Bleeding Skull found the footage and kind of edited it together to make somewhat of a coherent movie uh, from footage from uh, 1987, I think directed by James Bryan, who is a director I'm somewhat familiar with because I've seen The Executioner Part 2, which is a fucking terrible movie, and he's of course made, um, most famously, Don't Go in the Woods period, 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 alone, exclamation point, uh, which I don't have yet, which is weird, because you'd think that uh, I've, I would have bought it by this point from Vinegar Syndrome, uh, especially since it came out in 2014, uh, it might be out of print, I don't know, if it's still in print, I might pick it up, because that looks like a, a terrible slasher. Um, this movie, uh, my review is gonna be just like, you yeah, know, I had a fever, I felt like shit, I maybe did not pay full attention to this film, got distracted uh, by the fact that I was uh, sweating my balls off and uh, I had difficulty concentrating. Hi cat, hello, I'll bring you outside pretty soon, I need to get, a, get in the shower after and no I'm not gonna shave tonight because I, again, I feel like shit. Right there, right there. Sorry, I'm trying to get my cat to come here. Right here. This is the spookier silly channel. This is not getting edited. Anyway, she doesn't want... Anyways, Jungle Trap I thought would have been, would have been awesome because it's a jungle cannibal movie but shot on video. Uh, and then I remembered, oh yeah, shot on video, that means budgetary limitation. How are they gonna do, you know, the jungle aspect? Which they don't. Uh, none of this movie actually happens in the jungle, other than for the last 10 to 15 minutes, where they kind of turned somebody's basement into a jungle, uh, and then the rest is stock footage, and uh, the rest are people in a hotel room that happens to be in the jungle. You see, these group of researchers and a journalist want to go to the jungle, where a tribe lives, but the tribe has kind of rebelled against Western civilization or Western society as they try to get them to modernize, of course. And um, Renee Hammond, I think her fucking name is. Anyway, she works with James Bryan a lot. In this movie, she has a terrible fake German accent. She's so goddamn annoying, it's incredible. Uh, she's like, oh, I want to make peace with the people, we shouldn't go on this excursion, but her ex-husband, who uh, now has a relationship with one of the students, I think, or maybe a doctor, I don't know, it's all confusing, maybe they all have their PhDs, maybe they don't, uh, they're really, like, convinced to go there because they need money, because they work for a museum, and that museum needs funding. Uh, we see that in ugly-ass rooms uh in the beginning and then they go to a party which i love that uh bleeding skull uh cut intercut the footage from james bryan with just random stock footage they probably had from other movies so you get this like halloween type of party and then you cut to them but they didn't edit in the background music so the music just stops uh very 
actually very accurate to how Sean video films were edited. So shout out Bleeding Skulls for that. And then when they talk, they're supposed to be at like a doctor party, at like a soiree. Uh, but you can clearly see in the background that there's something written horror convention on it. So they probably shot that at a horror convention to make it look like a doctor convention. My cat's just looking at... Can you see her? <laughs> I don't think you can see her. Whoa. Am I all zoomed out? Oh, sheesh. Sheesh to oak. Anyways. Um, somebody tries to come into the, the, the main character's uh, house, but uh, it doesn't work. And uh, eventually... Oh, yeah, and there and there's... Uh, sorry, there's goddamn cat hair. This video's a mess. Um, eventually somebody, somebody wants to tell me the world is gonna, whoo, I gotta put it in the head. So, <laughs> one of these researchers got killed in a previous, uh, trip. Uh, she got her head cut off, but the, the, the people say it was an accident. So, that's, you know, other than one girl in the group who's like, they're gonna kill us all! And everybody's like, shut up, she just wandered off and probably died. Uh, but no, she got decapitated by the tribe. All of this takes like 40 fucking minutes. I was sitting there like, when are they getting into the jungle? I want the jungle stuff. I want to see angry natives murdering people. And we do have natives, they're not played by natives, come on, this is James Bryan, they're just played by white people with, like, paint on their face and, like, little feathers, uh, which is hilarious, by the way. Anyways, they get to the jungle, we get a few exterior shots, uh, everybody's white, even though they're supposed to be Hispanic, everybody's just fucking Midwestern white. Um, and then eventually, you know, they, they get in trouble. Uh, the hosts at the hotels are actually ghosts, and that's where the movie kind of becomes interesting, where there's a lot of new ideas that are really, f you know, typical of the jungle cannibal um, genre, but they're so, like, this is so amateurish and not made interestingly that you kind of just zone off for the entire running time. I have to give it to James Bryan. Clearly, he was somebody who had already shot, like, films with budgets. So he does get coverage. It's not just, you know, these wide shots of people talking. So that I have to give it to him. It's not, like, completely incompetent. It's just mildly incompetent. And the biggest crime, I feel like, it's just, it's just average. It's just an average movie. Uh, unlike Blood Lake, which Blood Lake, objectively, is a worse subject objectively is a worse movie than this i had more fun with it because it went so in the direction of painstakingly sov as this movie is just like if this was shot on film it'd just be a okay film the fact that it's shot on sov on uh, shot on video sorry not shot on sov that would be shot on shot on video uh, the fact that it's S sov doesn't make it better and it doesn't make it worse. It just makes it... It just makes it that it exists. Come on. Yay! Cat! I'll stop recording pretty... Pretty soon. Yeah. She doesn't like me talking. What did you do to your face? She always goes in, like, dust. You silly... You silly cat. Anyways... Uh, I can't wait to watch also, I mean, I don't regret buying this, it's not a terrible movie, like I said, it's pretty mediocre, um, I gave it, I think, like a 5 out of 10, which, I mean, if I would rate it with decimals, it'd probably be a 5.5, but it does come with Co Run Coyote Run, which is another SOV movie from James Bryan, but this one was actually finished in the 80s, so I'll probably review that uh, for the rest of SOVini, so uh, thank you guys, and see you guys next time. <laughs>